Hi, I'm Bereza. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own Azure Mind style mining game on Roblox using the Infinite Mining Game Kit. I'll have a link to this model down in the description. This is based off of the code that the popular mining game Azure Minds uses. If you like this model, please leave a thumbs up and favor and spread the word so other people can see this too. It helps a ton. Anyway, once you have this model, just open up a new place in Roblox Studio. Plop the model right in, and you can go ahead and delete the base plate. The model comes with a README tutorial that has the instructions you need to get this up and running. Uh, you should be able to do this in just a couple minutes with no scripting knowledge required. If you've already set it up and got everything working, uh, you can extend the ores in the game by cloning the bricks and putting your own designs on them and customizing their stats. We'll go more into that at the end of the video. For now, let's just follow the instructions. The first step is to take all of these folders in the infinite mining game kit and parent them to where they're supposed to be. So for lighting, we'll select all the children, cut, and then we'll go to the real lighting folder and paste everything in. Just repeat these steps until all of the folders have been emptied. Don't do anything about the workspace model yet. We'll leave that there for now. And done. Once you have all the folders done, feel free to go ahead and delete all of them. Once the game is published, you're going to want to go up to Game Settings, click Options, and enable Studio Access to API Services. This will allow us to access data store and play the game in test mode. Additionally, this kit comes with everything you need to set up game analytics tracking. If you're interested in using that, make sure you enable HTTP requests as well. While we're here, go to the avatar tab and set the avatar type to R6. You don't have to do this. The infinite mining kit does support all avatar types. However, the pickaxe swinging animation and sound effect will only work for R6 bodies. Then, change collision to inner box to ensure that characters are able to fit through the mines. Once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to take the workspace model, move it in to the real workspace, and take this line of code here in the readme instructions. You're gonna copy this, go down to your run a command console down here, and paste. What that has done is moved our entire workspace way up there. This is important because the game expects the workspace items to be in a certain position, uh, as the mine is generated downwards. Once you fly up your camera to the workspace, simply select the workspace model and ungroup. Then you can delete the infinite mining game kit model once you're done with it. Finally, once you've gone to this stage, publish over your game again and go to test, play. Now we're ready to play our mining game. If you run into a data loading error while you are trying to test, don't worry. This is because Roblox's game settings doesn't actually work. It's an easy fix though. Go to the website, go to the create tab, Find the game that you are working on and click Configure Game. Toggle the Enable Studio Access to API Services button and click Save. Then simply go back to Studio, click Test, and play again. And there we go. As part of the Infinite Mining Game Kit, each player spawns on their own unique base. The first thing the player has to do is repair the teleporter array. Once they've done that, they can teleport to the mine. You can customize this area in Roblox Studio to design the map exactly how you'd like it to be. And just like that, you have your very own infinite mining game. Now let's talk customization. The Infinite Mining Game Kit was built 
so that users with no scripting knowledge can expand and customize their own infinite mining game. As part of this, the kit is richly customizable without any scripting knowledge required. Let's start by taking a look at how you can make your own custom ore. Open the kit and go to Replicated Storage Ores. We'll start by copying the Azure ore and turning it into Green Azure. You can rename the ore by renaming the part inside of the ores folder. This name will be applied everywhere. By opening the ore, you can see a bunch of configuration values. Coin value tells you how much that ore sells for. ID may or may not do anything. It probably doesn't do anything. Max depth tells the game what is the deepest block coordinate that this ore should spawn at. And min depth says what is the minimum depth it should spawn at. Min rarity is a number that indicates the chance of this ore spawning at the top of its depth. And max rarity is a number that indicates the chance of it spawning at the bottom of its depth. Let's go ahead and make this ore green and change all of its sides to green. We'll also go ahead and make it so that this ore spawns uh, at any depth, and it has a very high chance of spawning. We'll do that by setting its min rarity to 1000. Let's see what happens when we take this green Azure ore and throw it into our game. And there you have it, our green Azure has spawned on the surface. As you can see, we've added a brand new ore without any scripting. You can also add new types of buildings to the player base, reposition where buildings appear, or change how bases look. I'll leave that up to you to discover though. Thank you so much for watching and for using my kit. Again, please thumbs up and favorite the kit if it helped you, and share this with any of your developer friends. If you are a developer yourself, please consider releasing some of your old projects as kits. It is very hard to get started as a new developer on Roblox these days because there are very few good scripts and good resources available. By contributing your work to the public domain, you could make a profound impact on a young creator. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.